iPhone 6S Plus Taptic Engine Replacement Guide. The tools we're going to need are tweezers for screw management, a plastic prying tool for unprying connections, a Phillips head screwdriver, a double zero or a triple zero Phillips head screwdriver, a pentalope screwdriver, Apple's proprietary pentalope screwdriver, a plastic pick for prying the screen apart as well as a suction cup. Let's begin by powering down the iPhone. Locate the two pentalobe screws near the charging port. Use the pentalobe screwdriver to loosen the two pentalobe screws. Once they're loose you can pull them out. If the screen is badly damaged you can use a piece of tape to put over it to make sure that you get a good seal with a suction cup. Place the suction cup as close as you can to the home button. While pinching the frame with your middle finger and your thumb, go ahead and pull with your index finger in the suction cup and insert the guitar pick right near the auxiliary port. Go ahead and tilt it left to right to create the crack. Now go deeper in on the left side and then gradually deeper in on the right side as well. Take your time when you're unclamming the phone. To the right of the top of the battery, locate the shield that protects the screen connections. Go ahead and remove the five Phillips head screws that guard the shield. This will allow us to expose the screen connections and disconnect the screen. Go ahead and remove the shield. With a plastic prying tool, go ahead and disconnect the three ribbon cables by simply sliding the plastic tool underneath them and just popping them out of their sockets. Go ahead and remove the three Phillips head screws that are securing the Taptic uh, connection shield. With those three Phillips head screws removed, go ahead and lift up the shield, move it out of the way, exposing the Taptic connection. With a plastic prying tool, pull up on the connection, disconnecting the ribbon cable. Now remove the two Phillips head screws, one on the bottom, on the left side of the lightning cable, and one on the top left of the Taptic engine. These two screws will release the Taptic engine. Go ahead and lift it up. Here's what it looks like up close. Reassembly. Go ahead, place the Taptic engine into its socket in the following orientation. Secure the ribbon cable by connecting it. Make sure that the connection is nice and firm. Go ahead and secure the two Phillips head screws, one on the bottom near the lightning uh, port and one in the top left with that secure go ahead place the bracket back over the cable and secure it with the three Phillips head screws align the screen with the phone Go ahead and uh, pry back the two ribbon cables and connect the third ribbon cable on all the way on the right side first. Take your time, make sure it clicks into place. You don't want a non-sturdy connection. Now the second ribbon cable went all the way in the top. Once again, take your time, make sure they click into place. And then finally the third one. Sometimes it takes a bit of time to get it to go into the socket correctly. Once all three are plugged in, go ahead and secure the shield over them. Starting with the middle, secure the Phillips head screw in the middle first. 
then the one in the top right, and then the remaining three Phillips head screws. With all of the screws secure, we're now ready to clamp up the phone. Go ahead and pick it up. Starting in the top, tuck it in on the latches first, then start clamping it. Slowly on the left side, start going down and clamping it around the contour. Now turn the phone and do the same from the right side. Clamp it up. Once everything is firm and aligned, go ahead and resecure the two pentalope screws. You can go ahead and insert them into their slots first and then tighten them up. Now power on and test the phone. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe and check out more awesome videos at AppleDollars.com.